Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about age gap relationships. You're thinking, age gap? This has been talked about a hundred times. Yes, it has. But today a little bit different because I wanted to talk about age gap relationships in the Philippines sometimes causing you to lose your friends and family. Stick around. So we're going to start off by talking about the age gap relationships. Uh, most guys who come out to the Philippines, if you look around and you see the guys walking around with their girlfriends or fiancés or wives, most of the guys are with girls who are in their early 20s. Now there's a reason for that. Uh, most guys, according to statistics, prefer ages 20 to 24 and that's all across the board all across the world uh, and women prefer guys who are usually in their 30s that's kind of their peak of their uh, status I guess that they are most desired so a bit of a, a change there now even guys when they get into their 50s and 60s guess what their age preference still doesn't change they still the majority of guys still prefer girls in their early 20s. So if you want to look at this in a, any kind of a scientific way, well, it's in our biology that guys are looking for fertile women. That's just the way things are. And women, we're looking for strong genes or protectors. Yeah, often age gap relationships or even just the move to the Philippines can cause a rift between friends or even family members back home wherever that may be. I've got a few stories of my own, plus multiple, multiple friends. Like every time I sit down with some expat, and if they're living here or they're with a girl with an age gap relationship, they all seem to have some story. Oh, my sister no longer talks to me or you know, whatever. My aunt or my daughter doesn't understand guys who have daughters who are even older than the girls they're dating then sometimes you get these uh, issues I've got uh, a buddy who has a daughter who is a couple years younger than his girlfriend and uh, she just blocked him on Facebook stopped talking to him and you know there's been this rift ever since and uh, there's this is one of multiple guys that uh, have had the same issue uh, me, myself, I've got an issue with one of my sisters, got uh, an aunt who uh, just doesn't, uh, does, doesn't get it either, not even just the age gap. I've got some who've said, why would you need to go to the Philippines to find a nice girl? There's plenty of nice girls in the U.S. or in Italy or wherever. And I said to my, I, I, you know, you want to try to explain to them, but at the same time, it, it's just a wasted effort in my opinion so I don't even bother other guys you know they got relatives and who don't even want to you know accept the new wife or the new girlfriend or anything like that they just they just don't want any part of it again and then the combination of the two you put them together you move out of the country and you get this age gap relationship and it can serious it can cause some some problems so I think most guys probably should be aware of this I mean I remember when I had started mentioning to friends and even family members about just taking a trip I wasn't even this there was no talk about moving I said I just simply said you know what I I'm uh, kind of done with uh, American women or Western women in general you know I, I didn't want an Italian woman I didn't want an American woman I said to myself you know what I think I'm gonna try a nice Asian woman, whether it be from Thailand or Philippines or Vietnam or Cambodia or wherever, I had told myself, I'm done with uh, Western women and I'm going to come to the Philippines. It was my first trip for 30 days and I also went to Thailand for 30 days before I ever even uh, thought of moving here. Those were exploratory trips that I did first and I had told people co-workers and some friends and said yeah I'm gonna go and actually meet this girl and they were like how old is she and I was like in the Philippines I ended up meeting some girl who was I think she was 24 25 I think and I think at the time I was 45 
I want to say, or 44, maybe 44. So less than a 20 year age gap or right about a 20 year age gap. And they were just, their mind just, they couldn't take it. They're like, why would you date a girl, you know, who's 24 years old? What possible attraction could you have to a girl who's 24? And I wanted to say, well, most studies will show you that guys are most attracted to girls age 20 to 24. It's just, that's the statistics. It, it's there, it's out there. Whether some guys in the West, you know, the guys who've been married 40 years or whatever will say, I could never be attracted to a girl who's 24 years old. Well, I don't really buy it. Actually, it was not even so much the age gap as much. It was more like, why would you, I think most people are just uneducated on it. Like, why would you go to a third world country? And I wanted to say to myself, you know, places like Cebu City are not really that third world. It's a developing nation anyway. And when I went and visited Bangkok in 2016, was my next trip after the Philippines. Bangkok is not a third world city by any means. It's very modern in a lot of ways. Uh, maybe even more modern in some ways than a lot of cities in America, in my opinion. But people are, have this notion uh, of some notion that they have from 30, 40 years ago, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, they would say, why would you want to go to some third world city or third world country to meet some girl who's from a third world country and I had to explain to people, it's like, this, this is not a third world country anymore. It's not a third world, some third world city. I had to explain when I came back from Bangkok that it's modern. There's like sky trains and uh, the mall, big modern malls and just fantastic infrastructure. You know, and the women are educated and, you know, uh, in the Philippines they speak great English. And guess what? You know, I remember calling various companies for customer service when I lived in the U.S. Guess where, I, I never paid any attention to it before until I had some interest on the Philippines, but guess where I was calling? The Philippines. I had a cell phone, AT&T, guess where I was calling? I was calling the Philippines, some customer service rep. You know, they had this notion that they um, speak English, that they're not educated, just all these preconceived notions. Just want to let you know, uh, there is definitely a good chance that uh, if you come over here, either you live here or you enter into an age gap relationship or both, you, chances are you might lose a friend or two or even a family member along the way. It's just the reality of it. Let me know, uh, some of you, uh, what your experiences have been. Have you lost any family members or friends or have they been supportive? In a perfect world, hopefully all our friends and family are completely supportive, uh, whatever our decisions are, but that's not always the case. Bottom line, I think you gotta do what makes you happy. You know, we're not here to live for other uh, people, right? We're here to live our life, and uh, you know, we have, we've got one life to live. So, make yourself happy, that's, that's what I have to say. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to check out my website where you can sign up and get a free monthly newsletter that I put out each month. Stock full of a lot of information. And also I have my Geo Essentials, which are things that I highly recommend for using when traveling or visiting or living in the Philippines that I personally use myself. And I uh, appreciate it, guys. If you want to help support my channel, you can also check out my patreon.com slash geonthephilippines where you'll have access to more than 80 additional videos plus other benefits. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.